Welcome to State of Tech. Let's take a look at using Do Not Disturb while driving on your iPhone 10. So what we're going to do is come into our settings. We're going to go into Do Not Disturb, which is down towards the bottom of the screen. And then we can see down at the bottom of the screen as we swipe down, there is a Do Not Disturb while driving. And this will limit notifications while driving. Incoming calls will be allowed when the iPhone is connected to a car Bluetooth or hands-free accessory. We can also tap on learn more to see what it actually does. So text messages are silenced. By default, the iPhone will send an auto reply, which we can customize, and I'll show you how to do that. When someone responds to your auto reply with the message urgent, all subsequent texts from that person come through for the remainder of your drive. So that means if someone were to text you and they get the auto response, and it was actually a very urgent request, they can reply to that text, urgent, and then all of their following text messages are going to come through. You'll also notice that notifications are silenced except for emergency alerts, timers, and alarms. And then phone calls are allowed only when your iPhone is connected to your car's Bluetooth system or a hands-free accessory. Or if you use the Do Not Disturb settings that allow some calls to come through. You'll also notice that Siri reads replies aloud so you don't have to look at your phone while the screen stays dark, which I think is kind of cool. So if you get a text message and it actually comes through as urgent, Siri will actually read that message aloud without lighting up the screen. That way the screen doesn't disturb you while you're driving. So go ahead and tap down in the top right hand corner and then we can customize our do not disturb options. So I already have this set up. So I have it scheduled from 10 to 6. You can enable do not disturb automatically just by tapping on do not disturb. And then we have our silence while the phone is locked. We can choose it to always. We can allow phone calls from actual favorites or specific contacts or no one. And then there's also options for activating do not disturb while driving. So I can activate it manually, which right now is what I have it set to. I can also do it automatically. Automatically will actually determine if your phone is in a vehicle and moving, and then automatically apply do not disturb while driving. Now this system of automatically is actually a little wonky. I've had it actually happen and activate while I'm walking once before while the phone was in my pocket because I was moving at a pace that the phone determined was a driving pace and actually activated do not disturb while driving, which was kind of wonky. Now my car does have a Bluetooth stereo so I can actually set it when connected to the car Bluetooth and then whenever my phone connects to the car Bluetooth, do not disturb while driving will activate and then my phone will go into this do not disturb mode so that way any in incoming calls and text messages are silenced unless my phone is connected to the Bluetooth stereo. And then there is an option to auto reply to my favorites or I can choose no one, recents, favorites, or all contacts. And then I can also choose to edit my auto reply message, which is the auto reply down at the bottom. So by default, it says I'm driving with do not disturb all driving turned on. I'll see your message when I get where I'm going. If I tap into this field, I can actually edit this message and put in whatever I want to or leave it at the default message. So you can have the options here to change that message whenever do not disturb all driving is enabled. So that is how you use Do Not Disturb While Driving on your iPhone 10. If you found this video useful, be sure and give it a thumbs up. For more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to State of Tech, and we'll see you in the next one.